You can swing like this, or like this. You can swing like this. You can even swing like this. Oh, bye. You can swing like this. There's one thing that all of these swings have in common. And if you wanna be good at golf, you're going to have to do this. You're gonna to have to learn this. And it's in the grip. Read Mr. Hogan's book and he talks about how wanting these two fingers to be, to be disengaged. Uh, anytime you add grip pressure from the top in your transition, you snatch the club here, it gets steep, pass wings to the left, base is probably ocean open in relation to your path, and you hit those hard slices that none of, none of us want to see. So it doesn't matter how you swing. You can swing however you like. There's lots of different ways to return the club on a path, which club head is 70% where the ball is going. The club face at impact is 70% of where the ball is going, how high it's going, whether it has right to left spin on it, and club path is only 30%. But we love to focus on path. It's not path as much as it is the club face. And that club face is controlled by your hands, which is why you have to train your dominant index finger and thumb, that's the lower hand, the dominant index finger and thumb, you've got to train them out of your game. You have to train them out of your long game. You have to train them out of your short game. It's something that you have to learn. And if you have not worked on this, then you are not doing it correctly. And even pros have to work on this. Being good at golf is about mastering the basics. And if it wasn't important, then Hogan wouldn't have put it on the cover of his book. He wouldn't have called them swing wreckers. It's the only thing he's ever called swing wreckers. Very little pressure on the index finger of the right hand and the thumb. You get the pressure from your right hand with this butt pad of your index finger going through. It isn't any pressure down or around the shaft. It's just falling. 